so today i so my for my first day in this diary i actually made some content for my first video so this will be about yes you guys saw it last time see it clearly so this thing is called a jaws harp or so so i'll just you know i have some notes so i'll tell you what i came to know so it is called jaws harp juice harp mouth harp more chang in india we call it more chang and more sing also in some parts of india it's called so see this instrument um, it's nothing see it's simple wire and and a structure nothing okay so uh this musical instrument is actually one of the world's oldest musical instruments okay so this was made this is so this is present in almost every country uh in every culture so it has more than 900 names so i was really astonished by knowing about this the history this so some scientific things it has only one pitch i'll tell you what does that mean in in the coming part of this video so in so i'll tell some scientific facts as i play the instrument okay so it it is just with the shape of the mouth and the breathing pattern you are doing that this this thing makes a very great and different sound okay so there are so it is so the, the power again this thing was so powerful at the time that uh, the russians had to ban it because they some at some point they thought it to be a you know symbol of uprising and they actually called it very influential instrument to unite the people and it gave them energy okay so something like that i'll show you it i'll i'll actually play it and give you it sound it's really nice sound so so yeah i'll play some so i'll i'll tell you okay so how does this work see this this is not making any sound as such but when i keep it in my mouth my mouth becomes the vibrating body and this happens see nice right so this thing this acts as a vibrating body and my mouth resonates with the vibration okay so when i do different things change my breathing pattern the things change you see oh this is used in many many this has been used in many popular music scores and songs so some of the examples are joined together by the who's and uh, again yeah, ar ar rehman also uses is this instrument in his music so in jia jale if you remember jia jale in jia jale so they use this thing in the starting so this music they it's there in the starting of the music just google just youtube the song jia jale by ar rehman maybe from the berkeley college of music they have a really a uh, nice version of the song and another thing yes you might remember it with the uh tom and jerry when tom cat sees jerry's astonishment this song this is and in the tv animation winnie the pooh when tiger the tiger jumps on his tail it's like well this is the kind of the sound it produces so again only one pitch mouth is making may being a resonate at uh, the resonator in this okay so yeah so this thing actually is very uh, prominent in the history of music okay the, from this in 1821 a german musician named frederick bushman made the harmonica if you see harmonica so it's just the combination of different small small jaws are put together okay so see the pitch of the thing is same but the overtones will change see
yeah this is this is the beauty of this so from the harmonica the harmonium the all the stringed instruments me the i read somewhere the piano also derived from this thing so yeah this is a really ancient and very significant instrument in the history of music so this instrument is actually being forgotten in many parts of the world so i also didn't know much about it until i saw a youtube video by varun jinje so i he had his ted talk so i was just randomly going through the tech, ted talks and i encountered through this i really liked it i bought it on amazon so it was it cost it some 250 rupees or something but yeah it it was really worth it and after that i saw many other videos read about it so uh, this instrument really is a very simple easy beautiful product with a very great sound so i'll show you a thing which i kind of compose but yeah Thank you. Bye-bye.